So then we are back with, with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services, where we find in ourselves studying then the Aramaic English translation of the word, and this translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets from the lineage of Yitzhak, indicating for us then tabernacling related information of the future in terms of then our country adjusting itself for the uh, system yet coming in the future there are some FEMA camps throughout the nation as many people understand and there are many situations related with those and those truly are prisons they are not hotels or condominiums so we should be acquainting ourselves with those because they are truly prisons and then we must understand why those are then being built and then there is actual fact regarding then what the government is doing because of their stupidity of the scripture they have built this huge place in the Ozarks and it's there it's a new section that might be our new capital if then our country goes into civil war there is many areas over there underground and 50 million square paid by the government and there is a person of the watch systems involved with it he is building under his personal own name they are building over there a huge mansion under his family residence and then comes the stupidity of the government thinking they can build a city with the 12 gates if you count the number of gates that goes into the mountain you have 12 we already got this 12 from they think they were building then the city of the end But then again, people don't study. They are not acquainted with situations of the time. And we hope we can avoid this new capital of our country in the center of U.S. on the Ozarks, where there are towns over there. And this particular town on the Ozarks, related with very near this new U.S. headquarter, there is a bank for every roughly 50 people. So you begin to understand that the rich people are already lining up themselves for this new city with the 12 gates as if they were in fact truly deceived understanding their own scandalized scripture and the country is paying for it so then we find ourselves we hope then we can straighten out our economy and then avoid this new area of the country because it won't be very nice as far as those FEMA camps those are for the non-legals because then when the situation becomes ugly if you are found without proper documentation you're going to end up in a camp simple and plain so it doesn't mix then these understanding of why well, the government then can put in prison anybody they want they are not stupid they have to have people to do the work qualified people to do the work why would they persecute decent citizens if they have to do the work so then you understand what it means these FEMA camps are for the non-legals and there are many of them throughout the nation and if you study those those are near railways railroad tracks so if you found yourself non-legal you best get busy and legalize yourself because we truly don't know the next 36 months are going to be very definitive but because Germany already decided to remove the gold deposits from our country it gives you a signal for those who never study our history, the first rifle used in our country was a German made. The Kentucky rifle was made by German. And if they are removing their gold after so much of their influence in our country, positive influence, then it's a concern. And not only from US, and also from France. 
So then we get square away with the situation and what's coming in the future. If we then focus our understandings in then obviously refurbishing our industry, get rid of thresholds in our equipment, and build up equipment reliable where people can have many years of usage serviceable then we have a chance of lining up then for the future because we understand IMF already predicted we must change our monetary system because our money is not holding it anymore why do you think then Germany is removing their gold from our country because they understand IMF is not playing games they said you have to remove then your monetary system because it's failing but then we are we are trying and trying and trying as if the Titanic is sinking and people are playing with the symphony our old industry is the only way out of this crisis We understand the government is doing a lot of projects and people are very unaware. In some of these FEMA camps they have thousands upon thousands of gaskets already. So there are a lot of sinistry going on around because the government there is not enough people paying taxes so then privatizing must get rid of these junkie agencies thousands upon thousands of people no job that's part of the job you have to lean up the government it's part of the job Either then the leaders are strong enough to make strong decisions and get rid of those parasites of the government, so then we can get on with our industry and then refurbish our country, refurbish our tax code, and encouraging the people then to pay taxes. As far as the Chinese system, our government is very ignorant. They don't understand yet. They have their minds maybe 70 years ago. It is absolutely inconceivable not having the proper understanding as far as the technology and not then linking up the stock market or then the New York Exchange computerized investments computerized investments of products computerized and the whole government computerized and linked up but then what's going to be making China great is then the prophecy of Yohanan then this country of the East where then the third part of the ships are at already indicates the country that is going to be leading the market of the end and then the decision making amongst the nations as they prosper is going through the hands of the Ishmaelites because we are during the time of restoration in order as per the Creator is started then our country has a choice either we go to civil war already predicted that's why the government is building the Noah's Arks this entire place in the mountain over there is air-conditioned they already have even farming they have buses over there and railroad tracks self-sustained a hundred percent they got crude they got oil and if we don't line up what's going to be in the future then it starts with F you know from the international foxtrot 
That's what going to be like for the people, regular people in the future, if we don't line up. So then in terms of the Chinese system coming up, then how is it then our government is going to be lined up with it? We don't have a choice. Because the prediction of IMF, they already said, that's past tense. We had to change our monetary system. That's a while back. So it's not if our economy is going to get ruined. Because this country has, for so many years, lived in luxury. Then they don't understand anymore focusing in what then IMF is saying. Because of so many years of prosperity. Other countries, however, going through periods of ups and downs, they understand what they are talking about. But our nation has not realized yet the danger. And last month, if you read the article, Germany is removing its gold deposits. Watch a conspiracy theory with uh, Governor Ventura. He went there in person. He testified himself this huge place of there in the Ozarks. Himself, his own team paid by himself. He paid for it. And it's documented and filmed. Watch his programs. Very informative. So how is it going to be then this new Chinese system? It's based upon production. Each country they are going to be contributing with what they have and what they can produce. Because you have to have then in the system a line of trade. So then what you produce, what you export then is a transfer of a number. We are not having anymore this transfer of what there is value with a number. Those are not true anymore. You have to understand you produce a screwdriver and sometimes the government pays a couple hundred bucks per each screwdriver only because there is military in it. So we must have a bit of reform in our government paying so much money because of a stupid screwdriver. So then the system is self-regulated. So then the price of a screwdriver when we produce let's say it's cost us 10 for it. When you understand this in our money, we then manipulate the price by producing more paper. It's because our country yet has an independent system of its own, but it's failing. And then it reaches a point where then the market is repleted with it can go no further. So when the system self-adjusts itself we have to show that we then produce for 10 but then we have earnings of these screwdriver. But then you can't change anymore those numbers without having a justification. But then 
we are not justifying ourselves anymore we are deliberately and abusively producing more paper to make up for the lack of responsibility but with this system then when it is implemented can't be done anymore because if you don't have those numbers over there then you can pay people so when those junkie agencies of the government every month they get paid and they don't produce and our industry is not producing enough where are they going to get the numbers to get the people paid they can't generate any more paper because the money has failed worldwide this is what IMF is trying to say for a long time so when the Chinese system comes absolutely an independent system where people are going to start investing in what they produce then we can be linked up with it but then we have to produce because you can't take numbers from the system if you do not have enough numbers there to show for it there is no more paper money they can make up for the lacking of it so then the choice is ours we can ruin ourselves until the system comes and then it's a disaster civil war there is no question we should have got rid of these agencies a long time ago the computerized systems of the private sector can take care of the problems the government must only give the protocol and the whole sector of agencies of the government except for the secret services can be privatized can become private sector can become lucrative you are speaking of many agencies for instance agriculture department FDA, FAA, EPA, TSA and many others those are junks private sector can take care of them for a fraction of the cost but then it sounds very much we won't set ourselves for failure in the future people don't understand the, uh, the linking with this new system because they have no respect for what IMF is saying pride goes before destruction is a blinding prideful problem in our country where we can't understand what goes on when the system is implemented and the government is linked up with it because it won't have any choice because the money is ruined then it's self-adjusted you have to show production pay for it and then the government only uses the numbers earned and you can produce then any more paper because the monetary system is ruined does not have any value and then the only compensation is to get more money the inflation then you buy a product one day then five days later is another price higher so they try to make up for it 
I lived in a country with lots of inflation, you know what it is. This country never experienced. Thus, the cause of being blind and deaf when it comes to the understanding of IMF. Does it help get mad and angry? No. We are in a very fierce combat amongst the nations of the world for the markets of the future. High technological market. We have to focus on what we have done in the past, prior of the Great War, Second World War, how we were, and understand the benefits of the post-war, how we treated our industry, and recuperated what we have lost. Prior of the implementation of this system, because when the system is then integrated, if we don't have the numbers, people can't get paid. Then the government can't anymore print out more money. They have to raise the price, causing then inflation. And not only this, then they force themselves to a frenzy of exportation. High quality, low price, that means people work, 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 they produce, they export the best, and they eat what's junk. So our government has to be real tough, otherwise we won't make it. That's why they are building FEMA camps and then another White House, so to speak, in the midst of the Ozarks, because they got water over there, they got forest, and the rest of us starts with F. And then police state, martial law, and so on and so forth. However, if we get rid of our federal agencies, then we have a chance of leaning up prior of the system and recuperate our industry. And nobody wants to be without a job, understandable. I used to work for the government, didn't like when I lost my job. But then what has to be done has to be done. The federal agencies must be gone. must gather up then the private agencies, put a bid on those agencies and give them the protocol and take care of it. And those abusive people, no more job. used to work for the government. They are criminals. And this is working for the security department. They work as absolutely criminals. There is no respect with over time. There is no limitation of it. They don't respect the financial system of the country. Any quarter of hour they can draw from the system they do. They stay around kicking tape posts, you know, when you go to the airport, you have those stand-up metal poles with the tape, you know, making the dividers. Supervisors staying later and going around kicking up those. Or then cleaning up the ETD machines. The explosive detector units.
or supervisors then coming up with OLC, you know, online training courses and they come around when they want and and they suck up the system. They are criminals. I saw it. They used to work for them. There were times there were supervisors upstairs playing around. Would sit around sometimes half a day over there and read in the computer. But the government does not treat them as criminals because the government became criminal. So we must redefine of respecting the public and the only way of doing it is privatizing.